Photography block training is a 13 lesson program that we implement to all new photographers coming in. The objectives of the overall goal is to get them to understand how to shoot in stories, illustrate ideas, and uh, use uh, multimedia tools in order to communicate a whole project. The video training flight runs a rigorous eight block training program. And in those block training, one on one mentoring with experienced videographers is the key. The skills that we give them are hopefully skills that they can give to somebody else throughout their career. Storytelling is probably the most critical aspect of our block training. It's one of those things that anyone can pick up a video camera and record, but being able to pick up a video camera and tell a story that everyone cares about and get people emotionally attached to that story is what we strive for and what we hope that all of our trainees come out of block training with. Those who can observe know it's the little things and the little nuances in the in in their scenes that really tell the story. It's those unique photographs that tell us things that we didn't know that they need to be able to pick up on in those unique ways and those unique techniques that allow us to see more. The PT program here at Combat Camera is a little different than it is at anywhere else. Instead of focusing on passing the physical fitness test, the Air Force PT test, we're focused on getting our airmen ready, ready for combat. We're focused on running longer distances than just a mile and a half. Once a week we're running almost upwards of four miles in, you know, in one day. Three times a week we're running a combat, crossfit uh, type of obstacle course where we're incorporating a lot more strength and endurance. PT program gets us in that peak physical conditioning and, and fitness to be able to go out on a mission where you'll never know how long you're going to be out in the field, how long you're going to have to carry your gear. All the physical demands that we could possibly encounter, we have to train for. Uh, CrossFit is uh, functional movements operated at a high intensity. It incorporates a lot of strength, endurance, acceleration with cardio, there's no break in between. Like. CrossFit's a program that um, Combat Camera has, has really embraced and it, it does do a whole body workout and it allows everybody to, to really push themselves to the edge. Here at Combat Camera, we're training for combat. Contingency and crisis response are core competencies of the Combat Camera mission. Combat Camera does all types of combat missions. They do air missions, they'll do ground missions. There's one mission we have that requires us to go to a specialized course, which basically indoctrinates us into the special operations community. The goal of the combat arms training is to create competence in the videographers and the photographers to enable them to go out into the field and operate with various infantry units, special operations units. It also gives confidence to the people that we're working with, lets them know that we're not a liability, that we know what we're doing out there, or we're at least familiar with how it works in the field. In the tactics training, there, there, there are actually quite a few things that you're taught. I mean, personal protective measures encompasses CQB tactics, which is clearing rooms, what threats you're supposed to be looking for, how to see those threats, where those threats might be, shoot, move, communicate, which are the three basics but the three most important things you're going to need to know out in the field. And that's what the training teaches us. First time going through all this training has definitely been exhilarating and exciting. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've never been pushed to that extreme before ever in my life. And I'm much, much more prepared than I ever would have been if I had never come to Comet Camera. Photo and video aerial documentation is a core competency of the combat camera mission. 
there are many different aspects to become trained in the aerial photography. One of the most important identifiers is that your flight leadership finds you as an asset. After that, uh, you go through a flight physical and we start setting you through the survival school, through water survival, altitude chamber. We take them on uh, a series of three to four flights. What we're looking for is how much interaction do you do? How much can you put all three things together? Uh, safety, talking with the crew, and photography. Uh, a lot of the training that we have to do helps us not only be, do our aerial qualified mission, but it also uh, enables us to assist the crew. Therefore, we're more of an asset than, than just somebody who flies on the plane and takes pictures. I think one of the most important things about being an aerial photographer is that you're sent out on a one to two man team. This is why we try to pick the cream of the crop, the best of the best, because these are individuals who can go out there and make things happen. It takes a lot to be a combat camera person. It takes a lot of dedication. Extreme drive and discipline and commitment. Hard work, passion, effort. You know, we ask you to show up give 100% flexibility is probably the key aspect of this job. It has a lot to do with mental toughness. You're going to get out in the field and people aren't going to really know what you're there for. They're not going to quite understand the impact that you can make. We have an influence on in how uh, history uh, is recorded. You never know what's going to happen when you walk out that door and that's what Combat Camera prepares you for.